And now, to present the Marilyn Bailey Picture Book Award that is celebrating its 15th anniversary. This is undoubtedly the sweetest award. A. Charles Bailey established this prize as a gift to his wife Marilyn in 2006. From nursery school teacher to editor at Chickadee Magazine, Marilyn has worn many hats over the years, and they all attest to her love for children and children's literature. Here is a message from Marilyn Bailey herself. Welcome to my grandchildren's playroom. They call it the safari room, and I do have two grandchildren who are Kenyan, so it seems quite appropriate. I'm Marilyn Bailey, and an award, a book award that is given in my name is about to be announced. It is an award that is given out to the best writer and illustrator of a Canadian children's picture book in Canada. And it's very exciting waiting to see who is going to be the winner, who are the finalists. It's given me so much pleasure to award this to my colleagues. This, this award goes to my colleagues who are enormously uh, talented and creative and I'm very much in awe of them. It's been 15 years that this award has been in place. Seems like time just whisked by. So now I'd like to congratulate the finalists. Uh, there are many little children out there that are reading your books and enjoying your books. And your books are fantastic. You're, you are stars in the sky sparkling away. Thank you so much. And the nominees for the Marilyn Bailey Picture Book Award, sponsored by A. Charles Bailey are The Barnabas Project, written and illustrated by the Fan Brothers, published by Tundra Books. Golden Threads, written by Suzanne Del Rizzo, illustrated by Mickey Sato, published by Owl Kids Books. Our Little Kitchen, written and illustrated by Jillian Tamaki, published by Groundwood Books. Swift Fox All Along, written by Rebecca Thomas, illustrated by Maya McKibben, published by Anik Press. Weekend Dad, written by Nassim Hrab and illustrated by Frank Viva. Published by Groundwood Books. And our winner is... Our Little Kitchen by Jillian Tamaki. Published by Groundwood Books. Congratulations, Jillian. Let's see what you have to say about this. You won the Marilyn Bailey picture. Oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, it, wow. Thank you. Oh my God, what amazing news to get. Hi, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, this is totally amazing and cool. Um, I'm surprised and uh, really honored uh, to be nominated alone um, al alongside all these like amazing creators, truly. Um, I have a lot of people to thank, so uh, first of all, of course, the Canadian Children's Book Center and the Bailey family, um, my team at Groundwood Books, uh, Rosie Outred, Samira Al-Halal, uh, Karen Lee, Michael Solomon, and there's so many people that uh, contribute to uh, the production of a book and um, the birthing of a book. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to name everybody, but everybody, there's a whole team. So thank you to everybody um, at Groundwood. Um, my team at Abrams, uh, who helped edit uh, and shape the book significantly, including um, uh, Emma Ledbetter and Pamela No Tarantino, and um, of course, my agent, Steve Malk. Uh, I would also um, like to thank the my fellow volunteers at the Greenpoint Hunger Program, um, which was the place that inspired um, the story, uh, particularly Anne Carroll and Emily Gould, who helped me with some of the elements of the book, including the recipe <laughs> recipes on the on the end papers, um, which were recipes that we cooked all the time in the kitchen, and uh, I wanted to make sure that. I made a functional recipe, and so thank you um, to them. And our friend Christine Zunick, who was also a volunteer um, at the kitchen and was a real inspiration um, for the book and for life uh, beyond um, 
our, our little kitchen as well. So, uh, so food insecurity is uh, a symptom of like a bigger problem and a my the myriad problems um, in our society. It's not just about food. It is often um, the case where food is the first thing to go when there's um, when times are tight and um, supports are not supporting in the way that they should. Um, and uh, I don't think anybody's unfamiliar with the fact that there's a housing crisis uh, in Toronto and in Canada uh, right now. So for that reason, I'm going to be donating um, the prize money uh, for this prize to Parkdale Legal, which um, is doing really vital work in in the neighborhood that I live in um, to support tenants and yeah. So thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for your book, Jillian, but also thank you for your generosity. You are a very, very special human being.